Hi everyone, Brian here back again. Happy New Year to everybody. This is January 1st, 2016. Hope everyone had a great Christmas and is having a great New Year's Day. I wish everybody a great New Year's 2000, a great year 2016 for all. Um, so we'll go over what I got here for since my last video about a month or so ago. Um, I didn't get any games for gifts um, because a lot of games I at, I if I want I just buy myself but I did get one thing game related I'd like to show first and my mom got me for for um my for Christmas I was gonna say my birthday um, The Legends of Localization book one The Legend of Zelda by Clyde Mandolin uh, Clyde Mandolin for those who don't know is a localizer who was famous he goes by the name Tomato who did the Earthbound um, three a lot of Earthbound translations um, this was on Fangamer, a book you can get on Fangamer, and it goes through the problems and what they had to do to localize The Legend of Zelda from Jap Japanese to English. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, it's still in the shrink wrap. It also came with Passport to The Legend of Zelda, and this is a little passport, it looks like a passport sized book, and this is if you have the Famicom version of The Legend of Zelda, you can actually use this to help you play it during the translation. Um, so you can play through it. Kind of cool to have. And of course, Fangamer gives you... This is the first thing I've ever ordered from them. And they give you a nice little sticker uh, sticker here and a, a button. And each time you order from them, because I ordered my mom a Christmas present, the Animal Crossing book, um, which is also awesome. It's called A Guide to Village Life. It's like a strategy guide. Um, it covers a lot of Animal Crossing lore. Not lore, but all the items and stuff. Um, they also have like artwork. They send, I think... Each one, because the one she got was different, and it has little buttons and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is for uh, that's what my parents got me that was gaming related. All the rest of the stuff is stuff that I never buy. Um, mostly like they usually get me a little care package each year with deodorant and uh, shampoo and stuff that I never buy myself that I can use. Um, and they get me underwear and socks, which I'm very um, thankful for because I never buy that myself. And then they get me, you know, clothes, which I never buy. And one special thing, and they did give me a Blu-ray this year of Looney Tunes, of Platinum Collection Volume 3, so now I have all three volumes. I'm a big Looney Tunes fan. I did not bring that in the show, but it's just a DVD or a Blu-ray, um, uh, so it's nothing too special to look at. So we'll go over some stuff I got um, here. Um, I did pick up, I went to Toys R Us again, and they had, these are series one-sixth of the world of Nintendo plushes. Here's a white Pikmin. Here is a one, here is Tommy and Timmy. They say Tommy and Timmy on the card, but they're basically twins, so you can get one of each and say one's Tommy, one's Timmy. I got one of those for my mom too, because she's a huge Animal Crossing fan. And here's a, my one of my favorites. This is Cat Suit Toad from Super Mario 3D World. And Fox McCloud himself. So there's just some more plushes I got. World of Nintendo plushes. Games. We'll go over games. I found a NES game that I didn't have. This is a black box game. Volleyball on the NES. Never played it. Um, early release in the sports series, if you see right here. This this was really dirty. Um, and I had to really clean it. The cart was dirty. The pins were dirty. Um, I had to really, really clean it pretty bad. It was pretty dirty, but it works, and I'm glad to have it. Or at least I think it works. I cleaned it, and I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, three more games to show you. Uh, two Wii games. This is... I don't know if I showed this in my last video. I got Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo. goes through the Dragon early Dragon Ball series up into... Uh, when you fight against King Piccolo. Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. This is a Adult Swim, I think it had Harvey Birdman. Um, and this goes through, it's like Phoenix Wright, but in the cartoon universe. You see here you have Guile there, you have that per pink rhino from Hanna-Barbera. Um, very cheap game, you can get it for like, I think I paid six bucks for this. And the big Wii U game I got was Devil's Third. Um, I picked this up because I'm a big Ninja Gaiden fan on the original Xbox. And I heard the guy who did Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden, 
Gaiden. It is Gaiden, but I always have to correct myself. Because um, I always want to say Gaiden. And the guy who did those, um, he developed this with his studio, Valhalla Studios. Um, it's been getting really bad reviews. Um, but I think I'll enjoy it, because sometimes I like just the stupid third-person action game like that. Probably won't play it right away, because I'm currently playing through Bayonetta 2. I just started it yesterday. That game is fun. I thought it would be too complex for me, but no, you, you can go through without knowing any of the moves, just hitting punch, kick, punch, kick. And I'm playing on easy, casual mode, and I'm having a blast with it. It's, I never played a Bayonetta game, and that's a lot of fun. I'm going to probably play it after this video. So, yeah, Devil's Third. And that's basically everything I got. Um, I've been kind of saving up money. Um, um, you know, just not, not buying as many games lately. Because I have so many uh, now, and I only pick up really what I really want. Um, and, yeah, that's it. What I've been playing is I recently 100%ed single player of Triforce Heroes. Um, it took me about two months on the date to get 100% in single player. Uh, the game came out the 23rd of October, and I beat it 100% December 23rd. I haven't even played multiplayer yet, but I had a blast with single player. Really challenging, but once you got in the groove with switching between the links, it was a very rewarding and fun experience. And I love the story, how it was quirky with the, the princess Styla who lost her style and is in this jumpsuit, and you have to like save her by build, and um, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a very fun, quirky story. I love the game. Um, I love that Nintendo takes chances on different takes of games, too, in the genre. It doesn't have to always be the same. And um, I beat um, Gravity Falls for the 3DS. Very short, but very fun. Playing through Shinobi on the 3DS um, on Easy 2. Very fun game. Playing Bayonetta 2. Still playing Super Mario Maker because they released the new event courses, so I had to unlock all those costumes. Um, and what else? Still want to beat my playthrough of Paper Mario Styles Near Door, still have to do that. Want to start up Super, pa Super Mario RPG again, I think I'm going to do that probably today, because it's been since the game came out in 96 that I actually played it. I borrowed it from a friend, um, and I have very fond memories of that game. And I'll, I'll play that in get ready for by Jan the end of January. Um, Paper Mario, pa Mario and Luigi uh, Paper Jam is coming out for 3DS, so I'm really looking forward to that. And what else? Yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, still playing through on Chibi Robo Ziplash. I finally unlocked all the Amiibo world levels. There's a, For those who don't know, Ziplash, you have a Hidden World 7, which when you level up your Amiibo, Chibi Robo Amiibo, you can unlock each world when you scan it in the capsule uh, game. And the levels are really good. They're actually some of the better levels in the game. Not to say the other ones were bad, but they're really good. So I beat everything in that 100%, over 100%, and have all the snacks, and I have to still get all the costumes. And to get the costumes, it's random. You have to save a little Chibi guy, Chibi bot, and it's random if when you save them you get one or not. And so I still have to do that, and I still have to level up my Chibi Robo Amiibo to 100%, but I'm still playing through that. Kind of put that on hiatus. Um, and still playing through, I haven't played in a while, uh, Majora's Mask. I still have to beat that. And I'm going to play back through Shovel Knight again, because um, I haven't played it since it came out. And since I have the physical cart on 3DS, I'm going to play it again. So that's everything I've been playing. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and is having a great New Year's. And I wish you and your family and your friends um, a great, happy, healthy 2016. I hope you get everything you want. I hope you're filled with happiness and everything is great for you. So take care, guys. Bye. Oh, one more thing. I did get this Zelda. My parents got me this Zelda shirt. Here. Um, really cool. I saw this when I was out with my mom and I mentioned how much I like it and she remembered. So it has the original box art for The Legend of Zelda on it. One thing I don't like is up here you see they kind of took the gold cartridge out. There's no gold cartridge showing, which I wish they would have showed the gold cartridge through there. But it's a nitpick, so. 
Anyways, guys, see ya. Bye.